And at the top of this hour, we're getting some breaking news. It's a go-ahead for Shubhanshu Shukla's homecoming on July 14, Axiom 4 to undock from the International Space Station and on July 15, that is on Tuesday, Splashdown is scheduled at 3 p.m. IST, now Shubhanshu Shukla and three other astronauts docked at the International Space Station on June 26. They were on a 14-day mission which has come to an end on, which will come to an end on July 14 when the Axiom 4 will undock from the International Space Station and on July 15, the splashdown will take place which is scheduled at 3 p.m. IST. So Shubhanshu Shukla is all set to return uh, from the International Space Station after a 14-day mission which was named Axiom 4. Now Shubhanshu Shukla and three other astronauts will be returning from the International Space Station. Remember, they talked uh, at the ISS on June 26 and uh, they carried out uh, several experiments during uh, this 14-day mission. But uh, now on July 14, that is tomorrow, the Axiom 4 will be undocking from the International Space Station. And on July 15 at 3 p.m., the splashdown is scheduled. In fact, my colleague Akshita Nandagopal is now joining us with more details on this. Akshita, a very good morning to you. Could you give us more details about this return journey of Shubhanshu Shukla from the International Space Station? Good morning, Anjali. Uh, just as you know, we witnessed takeoff, blocked off uh, from uh, Florida and then all the way to the International Space Station. It was a long journey of 22 hours. Similar journey that you're going to be witnessing when Shubhanshu Shukla returns back home, returns to planet Earth. Uh, tomorrow, as you pointed out, at about 4 p.m. is when the undocking from the International Space Station will take place. It's in the same Dragon capsule that you will see the AX4 crew headed back home. Uh, and we're going to see a splashdown, essentially. This will be happening in the Pacific Ocean on Tuesday evening at about 3 p.m. Indian time, of course. Uh, that splashdown is extremely crucial, extremely difficult as well, because this is something that they've been trained for extensively. Uh, if, of course, there is the realm of possibility of something at all going wrong. They have to ensure that all protocol is in place, which is why the maximum training that happened for Shukla and the rest of the crew during the quarantine time, just before the uh, mission actually kicked off, was focused really on the splashdown moment. So that's as crucial as liftoff. Uh, you've seen essentially the mission pushed beyond 14 days. The mission actually was for them to spend 14 days at the ISS, but to find the right time, the right weather conditions, much like we saw during liftoff with a few delays. This time it's been only one delay, which is that instead of the 10th of July, it's been pushed to the 14th. Uh, but 14th, we understand, is when uh, everything's been put in place for the undocking to happen. NASA's also confirmed that all systems go for it to happen tomorrow evening. 